Welcome back. Watching Snickers. You're, you're more concerned I'm, I'm about the dog over there. I'm concerned with Dave. Let's Dave talk with is Dave. here. Dave Matson right. with the right. Bull Shoals Food Pantry. That's correct. So have you relocated? Dan said you had relocated. Yes, we have. Just okay. recently. Uh, Where were you before? We were at the Methodist Church in Bull Shoals. Okay. okay. And for many years, um, it was really kind of a closet, part of the off the the main office, mm -hmm. kind of that room yeah. that everybody uses. Mm -hmm. And it, we just outgrew it. You know, um, 18 months ago, we were serving about 50 families. Mm -hmm. We're serving 150 right now. Mm -hmm. It's tripled in size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we came to the point where we had to decide what to do and decided we looked at existing buildings. We looked at all different kinds of ways of growing and came to the conclusion that the best would be to build our own. So we have built our own building. Oh, wow. It's 1,300 square feet. Um, three areas. There's a, a gathering area where people can sit and uh, as they wait to be served. And then there's an area where they do their shopping for the kind of food that they want. And we have a storage area. So we have much more room than we ever had before. And it is located? It's located on Lakeshore Road, uh, 1013, but nobody would really know that address yeah, at this point. If, if you know where uh, Dr. Davenport's dentist office yes, is, we're uh -huh. right behind the office. So you can see it from the main drag? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you're not like off back in the back uh, There's somewhere. the doctor's office there, there's the dentist, and we're yeah. right behind there. In okay. fact, we bought from Dr. Davenport. We okay. bought a lot from Dr. Mm -hmm. Davenport. Now, who do you serve? We serve a large area. Um, that's one of the reasons that it's grown so much. Um, we started out as Bull Shoals Food Pantry, all of the churches. There are five churches in town. There's a Methodist church, a Presbyterian church, a Baptist church, my Lutheran church, and then there's a Bible church. And I'm pastor of, of the Lutheran church. And all of the churches are on the board, and that basically is the board, and that's how it was started. But we've grown as various different needs have occurred within the area. For instance, um, the Flippin uh, Food Pantry closed. And a lot of the people came up to Bull Shoals. Uh, at the present time, there are two pantries in Yellville. The word that I have is one of those is closing. So that we t are trying to stay as a stable kind mm -hmm. of food pantry that is there all the time. We also serve all the way over to, uh, well, we serve Lakeview, we serve Midway, we serve Three Brothers, we serve Promised Land, we serve up to Oakland, all the way to the state line. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we are contemplating changing the name from Bull Shoals Food Pantry simply because we're not just in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Marion County in Bull Shoals. We would also be then eligible for some kind of funding through Baxter County, mm -hmm. like, for instance, with the United Way, if we change our name and begin to say yeah. you know, that we're yeah. in, in those particular yeah. areas. Okay, now, who, who is allowed to use the food pantry? Do, do you have to show some sort of need? You come in with paperwork? Yes. Showing income level and things like that? We really follow the, the pattern of asking people, you know, they, they can only have once a month. They cannot come more than that. And we, we verify that and we ask that and they sign that they are in need of food. And from that we determine that they are in need. So if someone says, I am in need, yes. you're not going to turn them away. Right. If Very they good. need food, we'll give them food. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. What, how much food do they get? Uh, they get meat. And they can, then, they, as I said, they can shop. Mm -hmm. We have shelves with all of the canned foods and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So they can shop for what they need as they're there. Oh, so there's not a preset basket no, they get. No, there's no oh, preset nice. basket. Mm -hmm. And they can shop and get what they need and what, what kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Then we also have areas where there are things that come in, you know, like, uh, oh, if they're uh, cookies or something like that, there's areas where they can pick from that also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you said that there's there's several or a couple others that have closed. Is there a reason why they closed? Is is they didn't have resources for? That's per, I yeah. would imagine the the main reason is resources. It's it's a lot of work to, yeah, to keep up is. with a with a with a food and that kind of deal. Um, just to keep up with meat is an, you know the expense of meat. Mm -hmm. uh, we were lucky about a month ago. I got a call uh, that in the hunts that are going on in the communities that we were eligible for uh, deer meat. I went over and picked up 188 pounds of deer meat, and in two weeks it was gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, those kinds of things. Uh, all of the, all of the uh, food that we get, we either purchase or is given as gifts. Mm -hmm. you know, we have different food drives and that type of thing. Now, are some of those temporary sources of, of gifts, like they just a one-time thing? Yeah, or like banks. Yeah. Our best does that at times. Uh, 
First Security does too. Mm -hmm. We get those mm -hmm. kinds of things. Our churches will have a food drive. We get the food from yeah. that. Mm -hmm. kind of thing. Do you share with the the food bank of North Central Arkansas over at Norfolk? Yes, we okay. are we are one of their clients, All and right. um, we go regularly over there. And you see, you can buy much food, much more reasonably over there than you can any other place. Mm -hmm. And that's where that's where our main source is. A part of that is also uh, the food bank is also the the place that you get commodities out of the federal government. Mm -hmm. We are in in the process of getting those kinds of things too. We get. We get commodities and those, you know, mm -hmm. the, the excess that the federal government has. Well, you have your own place. Yes. And your need now is probably more resources and possibly volunteers, volunteers. to help. Yes. Yeah. Any time we can have volunteers okay. and resources. We are having a dedication of the new building this Sunday, okay. the 11th, at three o'clock. Anybody is welcome to come and see what we have. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. prospective uh, clients. What yeah. are the hours of the food bank over there? Right now, it is Wednesdays nine to twelve. Uh, that's because we've been in the in the Methodist Church. We are looking at expanding. It looks like it's going to be Wednesday. It's going to be Thursday in the mornings, and then we're hoping to open up in the evenings, so that people who work can also have the opportunity okay. of coming. Mm -hmm. All right, so if someone wants to give a gift of food or a gift of time or even a monetary donation, mm -hmm. you would happily accept. We would happily yes. accept. <laughs> All right. Dave, thanks a lot for being here. You're welcome. It's a great time for you to be here during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And hopefully uh, uh, there, there's people out there that may want to give more generously this time of year and maybe have a, have a resource for you throughout the year. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. Okay, and let yeah. us know if you change yeah. that name. Yeah, yes, I will. <laughs> Please let us know. I think we will. You I, think I, okay. you will? Okay. I think we will. Yeah. Simply because we've already been contacted by United Way, and they'd said, you know, we're in Baxter County. Well, we serve Lakeview, Midway, yeah. all, yeah. all mm -hmm. the places in Baxter County, too. Right. Yeah. Well, good. So, Thanks again, Dave. Yes. All right, up next, uh, we're going to be oh, Snickers. giving it to uh, Marion Sherman and the Pet of the Week with Snickers, yeah. a chocolate lab. Yes. That sounds and so he yummy is to me. wearing a Christmas outfit. <laughs> he sure is. Stay with us. Thank <laughs> you.